On the personnel front, we're, uh, we're bringing in 4,000 new sailors this year, and we're going to continue to bring in new sailors in an, over the next, well, throughout the fit-up uh, to, to address shortfalls in the fleet, gaps at sea in particular, uh, that we, we know we have, uh, and we've been under quite a bit of pressure the last two or three years to fill those billets. So we're adding people to it, and we're, we're doing a lot to try to change the way we train our young men and women as they come, as we call street to fleet, from the, through the boot camp and into the fleet. Uh, that training has often been long, uh, too long, with too much information, and a lot of waiting around, waiting for the next school to start, because we don't have a steady throughput uh, for a variety of reasons that have occurred over years. Uh, and also to deliver that training at the right time, at the right place for the sailors as they're progressing through their careers, even in the fleet. So bringing more simulation, uh, more capabilities to the waterfront uh, and our flight lines so we don't have to rotate sailors back to schoolhouses as often as we have in the past. Uh, those, I, those efforts alone on the people front will do a great deal to help us on our readiness side.